What's up everyone, Electronic Search here back with another video. We have something new once again. It's a it's another Sony, but it's not a plasma. It's an L C D this this time. And it's in it's currently in the same room as what's going to be replacing it, which is a Samsung Luxia. Yeah which is also picked up from the trash. Um, it's extremely thin. The reason why it's replacing this is because the speakers are failing and the speakers are kind of raspy. And this is a 40 inch, that's a 42 inch. So two inches less, but then, it, then you get a Sony. So, I mean, it's better than than um, some kind of pro scan or some kind of Chinese junk. Um, so the, yeah, it's Sony Bravia. It's a KDL-40S504. It's an LCD digital color TV, so it's digital. So it has digital and analog which is pretty interesting for this kind of date of the TV, which is October 2009. Made in Mexico, lamp contains mercury, so this still uses CFL lights, unlike the Luxia, which uses LED. But again, this is just going to be seen which TV is better. So this is 1080p. I tested him on 100... 14, uh, 1444p. I can't come up with the way to quickly say it, like 1080p. For some reason, I don't know why. And the quality isn't that bad. The screen is kind of glossy. So it kind of looks like it's LED, but it's, it's actually LCD, or, I mean, with the fluorescent. Now, it is pretty thick. Not as thick as some plasma TVs, especially the rare Sony that I have downstairs. So, we'll get started with this remote. It's kind of dusty, because all the dust settled back when I wiped it down. It's completely working. There's nothing wrong with the display. Pretty sure the only reason this got thrown out was just because it was old. And that's it. Free remote, free batteries, like always. Every single TV remote, free batteries. Um, the only thing this really needed was just a good cleaning because the entire back was pretty dusty, like where the controls are. Um, I'm pretty sure, no, but like right here in these RCA jacks, there's a, there's a pile of dust inside of these RCA jacks. I blew those out with air, so that's why they're they're not they're no longer there. I also blew out these vents. All these vents. Now remember this is um the one with the fluorescent. So they have big high voltage boards here against against the top or I mean the sides. Now I'm not sure about Sony because I see that Motherboard is right here, so I'm pretty sure that there's a smaller board right here. A smaller board, probably just loaded with transformers, and then that board extends down here, but I'm not sure. And each one of these held a couple of dust. This held about a lot of dust. Again, those down there, did. you can still see a kind of a bit of spot of dust and there's some kind of sand some kind of sand material inside of here i'm not sure what that's from anyways here's our handles we're also loaded with dust oh here's some dust that i didn't completely wipe off so here's your cable management. This is what you can use to organize your cables. And I'm pretty sure this is for the power. 
Yeah, this is for the power, probably. I'm pretty sure. There's full four bolts holding this together. Oh, yeah. The only thing this needed was just a wipe down. And the screws on the back have to be retightened. And it kind of leans forward a bit. You can see it it leans forward just a bit, not that much. And it's similar to the Pro Scan. He also makes that squeaking sound when you shake him. So it's similar. I mean, that Pro Scan was Chinese. So, I mean, it's absolute junk. Like, there wasn't even one speck of golden, um, what's it called? Golden screw holes. They were just complete silver knockoff junk, knockoff Samsung, everything. Just, just trash. So, here's the remote. Again, perfect condition. Also needed a wipe down, but that's everything that it needed. You can see. A bit of scratches, but it's not that bad. The remote, on the other hand, was made in China. But, I mean, it's just the remote. Let's see if we can get some of that IR lighting. Yep, you can see it. You can see that. So, it's a long remote. I'm pretty sure every single Sony TV from around 2000, let's say 4, all the way to like... 2012, 13-ish, had long remotes, because this is, like, long, like, like, so here's my hand on the power button. Look how much more space there is over here, and also the volume buttons are down here instead of here, so it's completely different from what Samsung remotes look like. Completely different. Oh, and there's the model of the remote. I'm pretty sure this is the original remote. I'm pretty sure it is. The stand has this plastic right here, but then on the top it's this glossy finish. Also, there's a lot of dust on here, because when I wiped this down, all the dust settled, settled back. Our IR sensor with our light detection unit. SRS True Surround XT speakers. Dull by digital speakers are extremely good like completely perfect pick off picture off slash timer this light right here i did test the sleep timer sleep timer works standby i'm pretty sure this might also work and then power which also works and then the sony logo here and the bravia text right here now it doesn't have the ginormous Sony logo in the back like other Sony TVs have. So I'm not sure why it doesn't have the big Sony logo. Because like back here, you'd have the big Sony logo like old TVs used to have. these uh, The older models of this. I'm not sure why this exact one doesn't have it, but it doesn't. And then also the stand is glossy until the back where it's the same material as the base you can see the res the reflections right there so there's your cable management and power cord not removable inputs composite i'm pretty sure this is also composite or no wait this is probably AV and composite, because usually TVs have green and yellow when it's used in composite and um, AV. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is composite and AV, because you just hook up your audio to this, and then just hook up your video to the green one, which would be green on this side and yellow on this side. And then I'm pretty sure this is the same thing, just on a different source. Audio, digital, 
digital audio out and two audio outs, two RCA audio, audio outs, a USB port up here for service. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be a label right there. That might be a label, I'm not sure, because it has an imprint of where a label would be. You can see. HDMI 1, and there's those. There's something right here. Oh, um, this might be the older connections. I forgot what they use. In Euro European countries, they use the... I think it starts with a P. I'm not sure. But they use those type of, type of connectors. So I'm pretty sure if this would have been the European model, this part would have been containing that that um that port i'm not sure if it's the uk or the european countries i'm pretty sure it might be both i'm not sure C cable slash antenna again this is analog and digital there's the dull by stuff and on this side we have pc in rgb this is a VGA port. It's not really scratched up. So I'm pretty sure this wasn't used as computer monitors. And the audio port for the VGA. HDMI 2. HDMI 3. S-Video. And um, AV ports here on the side. So only three HDMIs. And a vent above the motherboard. And right here is our power board. You can't see it, though. Unlike through here, you can see a ribbon cable right there. And some of the green. And there's a blue tab down there, too. You can only see kind of it up through here, but you need to shine some light through there. And, yeah. So, this is going to be wall-mounted. Let's go ahead and power this up. Here it is. So, you can hear a relay click, that light turns on, and you get access to the inputs. Now, just wait. There it is. I'll, I'll fix the brightness level in a second. No signal, because there's nothing in HDMI 1 currently. Now, it's kind of laggy. Okay, there you go. So there's the the display part. Again, HDMI 2. Input is right here. There's TV, component 1. Component 1, video 2, component 2. Um, actually, I just realized... Excuse me. Component 1 and Component 2. So, I'm pretty sure these down here are both component. But I'm pretty sure they can work as RCA2. And then S-Video and AV share the same port. So, these are both on the same port. HDMI, all three of them, and the VGA. And let's go ahead and switch over to... I don't have a computer up here right now because I took it downstairs to, for it to charge. So I'm not sure if we have anything to plug into here. Um, I mean we don't we don't have HDMI either. Or I mean the cord. So I guess we won't be able to play anything through here. But the video is good. Video is good. Video is sharp. It picks up digital channels, and the speakers are just completely good. So we'll, we'll go through the menu. Here's picture. Right now we're on cinema, even though I'm pretty sure I changed to vivid. Adjust, 
the picture settings, vivid, you can reset all the settings, backlight, picture, brightness, color, hue, color temperature, sharpness, noise reduction, um, ADV contrast enchanter, uh, gamma, I think that's called, clear white, so I'm pretty sure that's the white balance, I'm not sure, no wait, the white balance is in the advanced settings, I think, live color and advanced settings, yep, there it is, and in advanced settings, you get the sign, sign motion, I'm pretty sure that's for the cinema type of, uh, type of, um, picture, game mode, which is off, because I'm pretty sure it's because on, because if it's on TV, and then white balance. And that's everything for here. Let's go down to sound. In sound, we have dynamic, standard, clear voice, and custom. Reset. Here's the surround. So you can either turn this off or on. Right now, it's set to the true surround, which, which is what it uses right there. Steady sound turned off, treble, bass, um, balance, volume offset, and speakers, which you can set to either audio system or TV speakers. There's no both for some reason. I mean, this is an old TV, so you can't expect it to have everything. Our wide mode, auto wide, four by three default. Vertical center, vertical horizontal, or I mean vertical size and horizontal size and phrase. I don't think it this has auto adjust. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Here's cable, so, or I mean channels, cable slash antenna, add digital channels, auto program, manage channels, manage inputs, Video slash component one, control for HDMI, which is turned on. Wait a second, why is control for HDMI in the channels? Why is it not in the, in the setup? Okay, that's weird. Device list, which is, I'm pretty sure, the device list for, yeah, the HDMI. Device auto power off, TV auto power on, and signal diagnostics. Let's go into the signal diagnostics. Yeah, it's just diagnostics. Um, let's go to the lock, which is the parental lock, which has a password. Or I'm pretty sure the password is just the, what's it called, the... The factory password, which I think is zero 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 zero. Oh wait, it got rid of it. I I'm not sure because confirm password. I don't want to put a password on here. Closed captions on when muting. I already set up all the settings as is. I just have to redo the the picture settings because um. I turned it to vivid so that way you can see it on camera. So, close captions on when muting. So, when you mute the TV, captions will still be turned on. Basic text, digitals, display options, which contains even more text. Info banner, which is, which just comes up when you first turn the TV on. It shows TV, or I mean HDMI 2, like it was at the beginning of the video. And then down here it says no, um, no, no signal, because there's no signal. Clock slash timers, I already set up the timer, it did get rid of the time. Oh man. Oh, also when you set the timer, the sleep timer to, let's do 15 minutes. There's an amber light that comes up right there which lets you know that there's a sleep timer set on the TV. And then once it hits 15 minutes, it'll come up right here saying that the TV will turn off soon, and then it takes about 1 minute and 30 seconds, and the TV just turns off. 
language, English, eco, which contains change the power consumption. You have backlight, which you can turn off, auto. Let me turn it off to just show you what it does. It just turns the display off and turns the picture off slash timer green to let you know that the TV is still turned on. It's just um the image is to, um, turned off. Now, I'm not sure if it turns off the the picture too or just the backlights. I'm pretty sure it turns off both. Oh, and well, there was the no signal. So the no signal is what the info banner was. And if we go back to eco, you can see PC power management, which what this means is um, when the PC, if there's a PC connected to the TV, if the computer turns off or like goes to sleep, the TV will say that it's like um, no signal detected and it will turn off into standby mode. And this light is going to be red to let you know that it's in standby because the computer is turned off. So when the computer is turned off, the TV automatically turns off and this turns red. And there's also a light sensor, which is right here. So if I put my hand over here, you can see the picture dim. And if I remove it, you can see it light back up. Put it back down, you can see it dim. Bring it back up. You can see back light up. I'm pretty. Sure, I I know it's kind of hard to see on camera, but you can see the picture does go down. And picture adjustments lock and product support. Which in the product support we have the return to settings for factory defaults, which is what I did when I first um turned the TV on. Here's our model number, which is the KDL40S504, and our software version, which is ER4.11-E227. And that's all the settings. Now, to exit, we just click menu. There's your info bar. There's the info bar, and then here it is down here again. So let's go through on some of the buttons that are on the remote. So display, which just changes the display type, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, captions, which are turned on on muting, and the power button, which is obviously the power button. You have the Bravia Sync, which basically what this means is if there's another compatible Sony device, and if you connect him through HDMI, I'm guessing, he's going to be able to sync with the TV. I'm pretty sure it's only for Sony um, products. But see, if you go into the sync menu, he'll say sync HDMI devices, and you can see which devices are synced. And I'm pretty sure this is also for for the Bravia device. So, like, I'm pretty sure this could be a DVD player. So, if it's a Sony DVD player and you connect them through H HDMI, <clears throat> let me clear my voice. I'm pretty sure you can use these buttons on the TV, and the TV will send a signal to the DVD player about these. And there's stop. There's also theater mode on here which is when you select this, it gives you another option, and if you click it again, it turns it on. So now, it's it just completely dims the image to what what makes you feel if, is in a theater, obviously not with a window open and in a room, but instead a big room with a projector screen. And we can go ahead and turn theater mode back off, which will put everything back the, to the normal way. Switching audio to TV speakers. Oh, so I'm pretty sure theater mode also um 
makes the audio go through the through the um, external speakers. So if you want to have a home sur surround system, you can actually make this uh, in a theater, but I'm pretty sure a 40 inch TV isn't going into a theater. It's most likely going to be 90 inches to somewhere around 100. I'm pretty sure they're, it's not going to be a 40 inch. Now, when I search up the model number exactly on Google, it comes up as um the same model number, just instead of 40, it says 46. So I'm pretty sure 46 is the common screen size for this exact TV model. So that's pretty interesting. Favorites, which will just show your channel and the HDMI. And... Oh, it also gives off this cool animation. Yeah, wide, which is um, for, for the display settings input, which we already went through. Return, which is return, like normal. Um tools this gives you all the tools you need like sleep timer picture adjustments sound adjustments alternate audio which i think is for the externals speakers parental lock channel guide guide regional rating codes and add to favorites and then the menu button which is brings up the menu which we went through all the numbers like normal volume which you can set, and channel, which you can also set, but I don't have an antenna connected to it. Muting, which will show you muting, and it will mute the audio, and then when you click it again, it will unmute. And jump means if there's another signal connected to the TV, like HDMI, for example, you can just click on jump, and he'll automatically go from TV to the HDMI. And I'm pretty sure if you click it again, he'll go from TV to H, H. Or I mean, from HDMI to TV. He'll just jump sources, basically. And that's the end of the remote. So, yeah. Uh, let me get the thumbnail now. We just have to be quick, though. Okay, there's no exit on here, I'm pretty sure it's just return. Or just click on tools again. I mean, I guess this is good. So we'll put that there. Should probably turn off that picture off timer thing. But whatever. Okay, we'll make sure this fits. Okay, that should be good. And so our picture timer thing is still going. I'll go ahead and turn that off. Tools, sleep timer. Here's our timer. We can just turn that off. Now you can see that LED turns off whenever we hit off. And yeah, so there it is. There's the picture this video is going more than long so here's the power off display turns off that light goes out and here are the relay click and that's it there it is thanks for watching see you guys later bye thanks for watching